I know you've been there. You hop on Hourglass Solo as a way to practice your naval skills after a long day of work or school, but after a couple of fights, you end up losing and just decide to pack it in for the night. You beat yourself up and decide whether it's time to drop the game or not. Shouldn't there be a better way to practice naval? Lucky for you, there is. Introducing Ghost Fleets. Ghost Fleets are a longer but still super intense way to improve on all of your naval skills in many ways. And in this video, I'm gonna go over the many ways Ghost Fleets can help to improve your naval if you're getting so sick and tired of the Hourglass Naval. I say that Ghost Fleets are the best way to improve your cannon name because that's almost all you can can do when battling ghost fleets. The one difference that ghost fleets have from a regular player ship is that you can't board a ghost ship. This means it forces you to take down a ship with strictly cannon aim. This will drastically improve your cannon aim more than it could in a normal battle with a player because you don't have to focus on getting boarded or having to board. Not only that, but because you're not going up against someone in an hourglass that has godlike aim on their cannons and hits you every single time you try to load up your cannon, you can spend more time on your cannon aim and simply improve on it rather than having to do that and try to dodge every single cannonball that comes out of the enemy's cannon. You work on the cannon aim here, then later work on how to dodge those cannonballs during Hourglass. You'll get way less angry at the game, and you might actually enjoy hitting the ghost ships. I don't know what else to call this, but timing means knowing when to bucket out water from your boat when you know you're filling up. Lots of players, including myself, get way too caught up thinking about fixing their boat mid-battle, and decide to spend precious time to go down and repair their boat, only to find out your pet chest hasn't even been fully submerged yet. And then before you know it, you come back upstairs and realize you're going head first into the opponent's broadside like a newbie learning the ram strat. You could be way more knowledgeable and rated a bucket if you knew when you actually should based on how many times you got hit. The Ghost Fleet helped me with my timing because after getting pummeled from broadsides, I roughly know when I need to start bucketing based on how many holes I have in my boat and the sound that my boat makes based on the water level. Now this one might not be as practiced as the others because you're shooting at a boat going in a circle, but if you don't know correct positioning, you're just going to be going in the same circle during a fight. Positioning might be even more important than cannon aim if you ask me because if you have grade A positioning and are trying to outrun or outmaneuver a ship, then this will be super helpful. But since you clicked on this video, I'm guessing running away is not what you came here for. So positioning might be as important as cannon aim, otherwise how are you going to shoot at your opponents without them being in your cannon range? At the start, positioning was rough for me because I couldn't seem to understand how fast I turned based on how much my sail is raised, but as my void just went on, I knew where to be and how to get there while still trying to stay out of a broadside for the least amount of time. Obviously you're not going to be freaking Tokyo drifting around these dummies, but it did help a bunch when trying to figure out where I needed to go and how fast I needed to be. If you work on the ghost fleets enough, then you'll have what it takes to climb up the ranks in Hourglass in no time. I also might be live on Twitch streaming Sea of Thieves right now, and if you want to learn how to be the best cannoneer on your crew, then click on this video right here.